please rise. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. So please note, uh, starting next week, we will not be um, mentioning before communion, though it is still in effect that those who would like to receive on the tongue to please receive after Mass in the center aisle, the priest or deacon will be present to distribute the body of Christ. But I think we all are um, ma daily mass goers, so I think we know that information. So that starting next week, uh, we will not mention that, except probably on Sundays we'll continue to mention it, and Saturday mornings as well. Brothers and sisters, let us prepare our hearts to enter the sacred mysteries. We do so by recalling to mind our sins and asking the Lord for pardon. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. O God, creator and redeemer, of human nature, who will that your word should take flesh in an ever-virgin womb. Look with favor on our prayers that your only begotten Son, having taken to himself our humanity, may be pleased to grant us a share in his divinity, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. Jacob called his sons and said to them, Assemble and listen, sons of Jacob. Listen to Israel, your father. You, Judah, Shall your brothers praise your hand on the neck of your enemies? The sons of your fathers shall bow down to you. Judah, like a lion's whelp, you have grown up prey on prey, my son. He crouches like a lion recumbent, the king of beasts. Who would dare rouse him? The scepter shall never depart from Judah or the mace from between his legs while tribute is brought to him and he receives the people's homage. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment endow the king, and with your justice the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. The mountain shall yield peace for the people and the hills justice. He shall defend the afflicted among the people, save the children of the poor. 
Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days and profound peace till the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun, his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time and fullness of peace forever. Alleluia, alleluia. O wisdom of our God most high, guiding creation with power and love, come to teach us the path of knowledge. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. The book of the genealogy of Jesus Christ, the son of David, the son of Abraham. Abraham became the father of Isaac, Isaac the father of Jacob, Jacob the father of Judah and his brothers. Judah became the father of Perez and Sarah, whose mother was Tamar. Perez became the father of Hezron, Hezron the father of Ram, Ram the father of Aminabad. Abinabad became the father of Nashon, Nashon the father of Salmon, Salmon the father of Boaz, <coughs> whose mother was Rahab. Boaz became the father of Obed, whose mother was Ruth. Obed became the father of Jesse, Jesse the father of David the king. David became the father of Solomon, whose mother had been the wife of Uriah. Solomon became the father of Rehoboam, Rehoboam the father of Abihab, Abihab the father of Asaph. Asaph became the father of Jehoshaphat, Jehoshaphat the father of Joram, Joram the father of Uzziah. Uzziah became the father of Jotham, Jotham the father of Ahaz. Ahaz, the father of Ezekiah, Ezekiah became the father of Manasseh, Manasseh, the father of Amos, Amos, the father of Josiah. Josiah became the father of Jeconiah and his brothers at the time of the Babylonian exile. After the Babylonian exile, Jeconiah became the father of Shetil, Shetil, the father of Zerubbabel, Zerubbabel, the father of Abud. Abud became the father of Eliakim. Eliakim, the father of Azor. Azor, the father of Zadok. Zadok became the father of Akim. Akim, the father of Eliud. Eliud, the father of Eleazar. Eleazar became the father of Mathan. Mathan, the father of Jacob. Jacob, the father of Joseph, the husband of Mary. Of her was born Jesus, who is called the Christ. Thus, the total number of generations from Abraham to David is 14 generations. From David to the Babylonian exile, 14 generations. From the Babylonian exile to the Christ, 14 generations. The Gospel of the Lord. The evangelist Matthew goes to considerable effort to show that Jesus is descended from King David and is thus the Messiah. Because of the Old Testament prophecies, there is a great meaning from the long lineage from Abraham to David to Christ. 
as Jesus ushers in the kingdom of God, we see for Jesus and his followers, family is not defined by bloodlines, but by shared faithfulness to God. Christians are siblings to one another. That goes beyond simply genealogy. So Jesus reveals our deepest identity, not from maybe where we were born, but our deepest identity as God's children. So the gene genealogy fully points to us as all belonging as one. May we recognize we are all united together as God's children, for we are God's family. Gathered together as God's family, God's children, let us bring to the Lord our prayers. For our church, that it may remain pure in all that she does, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For Christian leaders, that they may work tirelessly for peace and justice in our land, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who are suffering rejection or loneliness, that they may find the fullness of peace during this time of Advent, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the frontline workers who battle the COVID pandemic daily, that they will remain safe as they reach out to save others, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are not able to receive the precious body and blood of our Lord, during this time, that they may feel his presence within them through prayer. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those who are sick and who are dying, for those who have died and for those names written in the St. Jude Book of Intentions, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the birthday of Mike Pollock, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Almighty God, we ask you to receive the prayers of your children. We offer you these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Wash me, O Lord, from my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Sanctify these gifts of your church, O Lord, and grant that through these venerable mysteries we may be nourished with the bread of heaven, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. 
Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling. John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and Edward our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be 
co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look, not in our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Lamb of God, Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I'm not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Prayer of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire you with all my heart. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask you to come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already in my heart and unite myself to you completely. Please do not let me ever be separated from you. Let us pray. Nourished by these divine gifts, Almighty God, we ask you to grant our desire that aflame with your spirit, we may shine like bright torches before your Christ when he comes, who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord by your life. Thanks be to God. Thank you. So, Nina, is this me?